Are you happy with how fast our channel is growing? So I'm one of those people who likes playing Overwatch. The like part usually lasts one or two games and quickly turns into frustration, but that's besides the point. I also enjoy watching highlights from Overwatch streams, as I often can't keep up with all the streamers from various parts of the world and their streaming schedule, but I do want to know if Chipsa is still unlocking. Whether you are pro or against Twitch highlights channel, I always try to find an interesting software challenge for myself. And I think I just found one. You see, most of the Overwatch highlight channel have a submission form where you can submit your clips to them. Channel owner then needs to go through each clip, pick the most interesting ones, download them, take a note who is the owner of the clip to give them credit later, optionally do a slight trimming to only highlight the most interesting part, and then add credit by inserting channel name in one of the four corners of each highlight clip. Sounds like a lot of repetitive tasks, doesn't it? And what do software engineers do with repetitive tasks? That's right, we automate them. I've begun my project by drawing a rough sketch of how things would work with some schema design. Initially I wanted to do it all in browser, using the WebAssembly version of FFmpeg. But unfortunately, HTTP streams as inputs are not supported at the moment. So I've decided to implement this project with a backend API and Angular SPA. Using Next.js as my backend framework, I was able to put together a basic REST API which allows me to create projects and import clips information from Twitch API. Just like with anything, I decided to start small. Just merge two clips together using FFmpeg. This was pretty simple given there are plenty of examples on the internet, but I faced an issue the minute I introduced Tort Clip. In order for the merge to work, the clip dimensions would have to be the same. I didn't want to run FFmpeg multiple times to first resize and then to actually merge the clips to avoid potential loss of quality and for other boring technical reasons. After a bit of research I discovered the concept of complex filters within FFmpeg. Complex filters allow you to create a chain of filters which will get applied to your video and or audio streams. For example, you can scale the video, blur it and then draw an image on top of it, all within one command of FFmpeg which is exactly what we need. It took me a while to get my head around complex filters, but at the end of the day, I managed to scale my output and draw a text on top of the video, which would allow me to specify the broadcaster's name to give them a credit. After playing around with text styling, I've tried to merge another video and quickly run into an issue of overlapping text. Banging my head against the wall didn't help much, so to solve the problem, I've decided to take a short break. After a few changes to my filtering graph, I managed to achieve the desired result. Now that I have a basic pipeline for creating projects, adding clips and scheduling rendering, I move on to the UI creation. I've slapped together a basic login screen, basic table for displaying list of projects and move on to the project view screen. I've tried adding an embeddable player to each clip so the user can preview it and decide whether to keep it or remove it. It didn't look good and was quite heavy on the page, so I reverted to a basic thumbnails with a play button, which will then show a dialogue with an embeddable player. While Guinness was enjoying his daily nap, I started working on a preview dialogue for the clips. I then added the remove button, as after watching the clip, users will know whether they like it or not. While playing around with the preview, I quickly realized that having next and previous clip buttons would make the process of filtering out the clips even faster, as you wouldn't have to open and close the preview dialog all the time. I then spent some time playing with the UI and moved on to reordering of the clips using the Angular CDK drag and drop component. Initially, I've used the wrong directive which made everything draggable and droppable, but this is not what we need. There you go. This is much closer to what I need. Although my excitement didn't last long, having multiple rows and columns broke reordering behavior and I've started to look for answers. There were so many different solutions for different versions of CDK. Some of them were outdated, broken, used weird DOM manipulation magic, etc. So I decided to take a short break from all of this madness and go for a walk.
After I came back home, I managed to find a compromise between how hacky the solution was and how bad it looked visually. I've implemented the backend and UI for scheduling and rendering of the clips, with just a single option for now, which is whether to include the broadcaster's name. Keeping in mind that Dawn is better than perfect, I finalized everything by adding clip, import UI, and a download button for fetching the rendering output. I have to say, this was quite an interesting project, and I might consider turning this into a SaaS solution, so if you're interested, let me know. I have tons of ideas on how this project can be improved, but as for now, it was a fun weekend project, and I hope you have enjoyed watching me build it. I wish you a wonderful rest of your day, and hope to see you soon in the next video.